Today we show our favorite two exercises to build powerful bite work dogs and cardio monsters. Fuck! Oh, God! Oh! It's a balmy day in the high desert of Central Oregon, and we are gonna show you what is our secret to high level fitness with these dogs. The poop pup is super pumped. Before we get to that, I wanna let Alexandra and Magnus go toe to toe. I did not realize though, that my entire property was covered in ice from freezing rain until I saw vroom, Magnus take a spill. I was worried about him, but he got up, he did not limp, <laughs> and he came trotting over to remind me that he's the himbo. He's just pretty. He's pretty boy. He's very pretty. So we put them up and took them to the training building so that we could do some indoor training and let the ice melt before Ulrich's run. We brought Alexandra out first to do some bite work. Good bite work does not look flashy. It's like grappling, wrestling. The people involved are exerting a massive amount of energy and force, but it could almost look like they're standing still. And so while it looks like her mouth is just kind of resting on the sleeve, I promise she is biting down as hard as she can. I do not work my dogs in defense drive. Good bite work dogs can bite like their life depends on it, but stay in the prefrontal cortex, not have to engage the fight or flight, the limbic system of the brain, so that they can still make great choices. But what makes these dogs so amazing is that they can bite like their life depends on it with that clear head, and I don't have to worry about them doing something rash or foolish. This is exerting so much energy. Magnus is biting as hard as he can right now. And so it tires them out. But a dog who can bite that long and stay solid is worth their salt. We're going to have our Polaris and we're going on a run. Poop pop. Poop pop. I was tempted not to show the Polaris runs because I feel like people could abuse them. They could think that, you know, we are pushing these dogs, we are setting these paces, and it is Ulrich who decides how fast we go. And as we move around the property at different points, if we have not kept up certain speed goals, I know that he is telling me that he is tired and that we need to stop. You can see we are running over 20 miles an hour. Ulrich is fantastic. He is a cardio beast. He can run a 5k in under 10 minutes at almost 80 pounds he can maintain 36 miles an hour for six seconds just crazy the 5k pace that's over 20 miles an hour for a solid 10 minutes but if he is not meeting those speed goals then we turn around and go home and i know that it is going to be better for his long-term improvement to go and rest because his body is not on it that day you can see we're getting towards the end we're still running at 22 miles an hour i'm gonna go ahead and only do one lap you can see how he's turning around now he didn't go to the left automatically to want a second lap so that also tells me that like look he's done he's ready to go back there's no need to push him for a second lap but i want to show you what it is like with a dog like Ulrich and how he can still come in to the bite work scene and just crush it. He is exhausted, but it doesn't mean that we don't still have control. Else, they gotta have that instant out even when they're tired. Ah, see, and the ability to hear my commands when they are target focused. Puck. Ulrich is exhausted, but I wanna show you how good his technique still is, even though he's tired. Puck. Push it in. Oh. I'll see. He still has the control. Boop, pop. Oh, oh. And look at this. He is uh, just totally reshaping this, making it his plaything. Not all of our training is super serious, but just. Sometimes we just work on hip control, moving around me from side to side. We just have a little toy, not doing anything but fun. If he wants to get down, he can get down, but we're making him work from side to side, working these abductors and adductor muscles in his hips. Magna, 
hip extension. And that's one of the things that's great about this boy. Look at that hip extension. Look at that Magnot hip extension. Magnot hip extension. But we still can have us control. Hey, I say that and he's gonna try to make a fool out of me. Fuck. Magna. Oh, Magna. Oh, Magna. 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 Oh, shit, Magna. Magna. Hi, yeah, yeah. How dare you? How dare you? I don't listen to no Magnots. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you?